Friends, this patient sustained blunt trauma long back and while doing capsulorexis, I could make out that there is genular weakness. However, I could complete rexis and hydrosection without any problem and now I'm going to manage the nucleus. So here I go, the tip of the FACO handpiece has been introduced into the anterior chamber. After cleaning the superficial cortical matter, I plan to do direct job. So here I go. I bury the tip into the substance of the nucleus. Hold the nucleus very firmly. And this is the first job. And it's a nice crack. This is the second job. Here my strategy is chop the nucleus into fragments because there is junior weakness. As many fragments as possible. And then I will start emulsifying the each nuclear fragment. So I have started catching hold of each individual individual nuclear fragments and emulsifying it. Fico power being used is 65%. Fluorite is 40 and vacuum is 400 millimeter of mercury. This is Oatly Catarix 3 FACO machine. Now here I find that there is something wrong. Some vitreous strand came into the tip of the FACO handpiece. So what I do is I come out, inject some visco and then apply a CTR. so that the vitreous strand that came at the tip of the FACO handpiece goes backward. I hope once the bag gets supported the vitreous strand also will go to the periphery. The CTR has been applied and now I go again with the tip of the FACO handpiece and at this time I could see that the fragments are mo moving very freely and I could emulsify the pieces comfortably. Pusti capsule is far back and this is the last fragment very slowly and keeping an eye on the posterior capsule I could manage the nucleus. Now my plan is to remove the cortex. I want to remove the cortex of 6 o'clock where the genular dialysis occurred at the last. So I'm going to remove the cortex from all around except 6 o'clock. This is the cortex at 9 o'clock. And there's actually there is a piece of epinucleus lying there. Since there is CTR, we have to be patient. It takes longer time than usual when there is a CTR. And we have to hold the cortex very nicely and then pull it. Since the CTR is supporting the bag, there is no fear of 
junular dialysis at this moment. Now I am removing the cortex from 3 o'clock and 4 o'clock. After removing the cortex from all these areas, I go to 6 o'clock and here I find that these are the vitreous strands. And if I pull these vitreous strands, I'm going to cause a lot of damage to the vitreous base and there can be peripheral retinal tear. So, here um, I regurgitated whatever I was trying to aspirate. I just flushed it out, came out, injected some visco, and here I go with the cutter. This is Acurus from Alcon. Nice vitrectomy system. The company has discontinued service to this machine. Fortunately, the machine is still working. That's it. So, cortical cleanup is still to be done at 6 o'clock. But before that, I want to implant the intraocular lens in the capsular bag. Inflated the bag with visco, and here it is. The trailing haptic is being implanted in the bag by the Sinsky hook. Yes, now you can see the rexus margin, and here it is. The cortex from 6 o'clock has been removed. Since vitrectomy has been done, I'm sure these are cortical fibers. That's it. I was doubtful that there is one or two gen uh, gen uh, vitreous strands at 6 o'clock. So, I went again with the cutter and removed those fibers as well as the viscoelastic substance with the cutter itself. Here it is. This is the final lavage of the anterior chamber after hydration of the side ports. And here I conclude the case. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills.